I thought it would be a good time to take a look back at every single battle pass to ever exist and rank them from worst to best. And I will only be ranking these battle passes by the skins, not by anything else, no emotes, gliders, pickaxes, none of that. Remember guys, these are just my opinions and these are how I feel about these skins. These are the skins I use the most to this day. And for some of these battle passes, I just don't see myself ever using any of the skins inside of them ever again. So make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Also drop a sub and use my code COBSMIND. All right guys, let's hop into it. So starting out at my number 14 spot, my least favorite battle pass ever ever to be created, we have the Chapter 1 Season 4 Battle Pass. For this one, it seemed as though Epic wanted to make every skin as boring as they possibly could think of. To me, there isn't a special skin here, nothing that stands the test of time, which I do think is important for a battle pass. If one skin can remain somewhat popular even five seasons later, I think that's a high mark for that battle pass. And for my favorite, I actually don't have one. I'll be mentioning my favorite and least favorite skins. My least favorite skin is easily the squad leader. Such a disappointment, Epic. At my number 13 spot, I had to give it to chapter two, season four, and I'm gonna make this one quick. You guys can hate on me if you guys would like. I will never support a cash grab as lazy as this one. With that being said, I really like the rewarded XP edit styles. I think those are great. My favorite skin from this battle pass was Tony Stark. My least favorite is Doom. I like how I have principles. I, I wanted to put this one as far down as I possibly could because it's an advertisement to me. But chapter one season four was so bad that I couldn't even put it below it. At our number 12 spot, I gave it to chapter one season seven. I'm not a fan of these winter themed skins inside of this battle pass. And typically I would say any other winter themed skin Epic has released through the item shop or even something like the Frozen set. I would say almost all of those tend to be great, but these are just a little bit too boring. And I think they went too simple with the color schemes and their designs as well. My favorite from this one, the Lynx. My least favorite, Zenith. At our number 11 spot, I gave it to chapter two, season one. If I try to think of a skin that a little kid would use, I can take anything from this battle pass and it will fit that design. With that being said, Ripley is solid and the medic skin is decent, but my favorite is easily the eight ball versus scratch and my least favorite is easily the Turk and Fusion. At my number 10 spot, I gave it to chapter two, season five. Usually I love the new battle pass skins and then after a while I lose that love and I can see a little bit more clearly. But since day one, I thought this battle pass was very underwhelming and I feel like it could be even lower in the future once it's not even close to being new anymore. My favorite skin from this battle pass is easily the Condor. I love that skin and I think it's a skin I'll use in the future for sure. My least favorite skin, Reese. It's trash. I hate it. At the number nine spot, I gave it to chapter one, season nine. This is a very colorful battle pass and I feel like for everything below it, except for maybe chapter two, season four, we had a lot of stuff that wasn't very colorful. And I would also say we have a wide variety of skins to use. The only problem, nothing really stuck. I don't use any of these skins and I don't really think I ever will. But not only that, I can't really remember when you say chapter one, season nine, any of the skins. It's all very blurry and I, I don't really know what you're talking about. It's like it's not even Fortnite. With that being said, I think overall it's not bad. It's just very, very forgettable, which sucks for any battle pass for me. My favorite is easily Vendetta. My least is Stratus. I, I don't like it. Oh yeah, and that chicken guy. At my number eight spot, I gave it to chapter one, season five. And honestly, guys, the Drift is my favorite skin in the battle pass out of 
any battle pass, let me say. But it's surrounded by a lot of average and unused skins. I think out of the four female skins, except for the Huntress, they're all pretty decent, but nothing really stands out in a good way. My least favorite from this battle pass, Sledgehammer and the Huntress. At our number 7 spot, I gave it to Chapter 2 Season 3, and I think this is a solid battle pass, and that's really all I gotta say. I think it's like middle of the road, but it's not bad. My favorite is Jules, and my least favorite is Fade. At our number 6 spot, I gave it to Chapter 1 Season 6. I love this battle pass, well, half of it. Half of the skins are top tier, but the other half is literally like the bottom of the barrel. I will explain a little bit more in depth as to why I put this so high up at my number three spot, but my favorite is Calamity and Dire. I love these skins, and I think they do stand the test of time, and they're skins I can still use to this day. My least favorites are Gideon up and nightshade at the number five spot i gave it to chapter one season x even though this battle pass is all reskins i will always say if epic can make the reskins look better then i'm happy if the reskin is worse then to me that's worse than murder you cannot make a skin that is a reskin and also worse than the original i cannot accept that i think that looks super bad I would say though with almost every skin here, it's a more enhanced version of the original. My favorite being Ultima Knight and my least the Supreme Specialist. At my number 4 spot, I gave it to Chapter 1 Season 2. The Black Knight was ruined, and it always will be, by the Ultimate Knight. And I've gone over this countless times, but the brief summary is the Ultimate Knight has so many better edit styles than the Black Knight, the Black Knight has none. I think one stage of the Ultimate Knight looks better than the Black Knight, and it's as simple as that. But I still love the Knight-themed skins of this season, and they're one of a kind. I'm glad Epic games hasn't tried to reskin the royal knight or the royal squire or no the blue squire rather if they did that maybe i would look at these skins in a lower light but for now i think they're amazing one of a kind and i still use them to this day my favorite being the royal knight my least favorite black knight at the number three spot, I gave it to chapter one, season three, and this is what I was talking about for chapter one, season six. It's a perfect example, and it's very similar when half the skins are amazing, but the other half isn't. There are too many astronaut skins in this battle pass, that's obvious, but my favorites are the Reaper and the Lead Agent. And when people think of Battle Pass, I'm sure a lot of people think of the Reaper or the Elite Agent as their first skin. These are skins I will use to this day, and guys, I think it's better to have a few skins you'll use forever compared to five skins that are decent or even good that you won't use after the season's over. So that's my reasoning for chapter one, season three and season six being so high up. All it takes is a few skins to be on that God tier level. The rest don't really matter. You can't have every single skin hit perfectly, except for maybe one. At our number two spot, I gave it to chapter two, season two. These skins are great at their base stage, but then on top of that, you add the ghost or the shadow added styles, and they're some of my favorite skins in the battle pass. Oh, and I forgot to mention the golden styles. This is easily the best addition into Fortnite. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the Maya. The Maya, one of the best skins to ever come to Fortnite. I love the customizability, and I hope they do it again in the future. My favorites are easily the Maya, Sky, and the Golden Agent Peely. My least favorite, the Brutus, even though he's not bad, and I think his back bling is amazing. I'm not taking that into account count but the brutus with the edit style either ghost or shadow i think it becomes a lot better of a skin at the number one spot i don't know if anything will catch up to this one ever we have the chapter one season eight battle pass 
This is the pinnacle of battle passes for me. There isn't a miss here. There are small details that I would change. For instance, the Blackheart needed his ribcage showing way more than what we have. And that's because of the many different edit styles where his ribcage color is changing. But honestly, that's the smallest detail that I could think of for what's wrong with this battle pass. I can still use almost any of the skins, except for maybe one, to this day. My favorites are the Lux and the Hybrid, but I also wanted to mention the Ember as one of the best ever. But the Lux and Hybrid are just perfect, and my least favorite, Sidewinder. Well, with all that being said, guys, I do want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a sub. Use my code COBESMIND. Thank you so much, guys. And make sure to be a little bit nice in the comment section. I think I was fair here. I didn't go in as hard as I typically would. And honestly, guys, I think most battle passes are at least decent. Rating them out of 10, I would say the majority are five or above. So average or better. But we still do have some pretty bad battle passes. You know what? Maybe my top three are your bottom three. I'd be surprised, but it's possible. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.